Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I thought I'd just sit down and explain why I've been a bit MIA from the platform. I basically went from posting three times a week on here to I think two videos in a month and yeah I'm just gonna get into that and also share some news and basically just say what I've been up to. So firstly, the reason why I've been MIA is, I guess it's a combination of a few things, but essentially I've just felt so tired, so burnt out and just overwhelmed by a lot of areas of my life. And I just felt like, you know what, if I continue to do YouTube three times a week, because it's quite demanding to do that level of production, it will end up with me just like not enjoying YouTube and that's never what I want to like happen. I always want to enjoy it. So every video I put out is something that I want to make and that I've enjoyed to do. So basically I didn't want to make content for the sake of making content just because it needed to go out. I rather wanted to just like have a break and come back to it fresh and know what I want to do with the channel and also have content that I was happy to make because I feel like it does shine through when you make content that you force yourself to make. You know, you guys can tell that. So that's kind of why there was, wasn't many videos. I'm going back to post literally today when this is filmed it's like over Easter weekend I'm filming this and I'm gonna do an all-nighter tonight and basically film five six videos and I've already got a lot of things filmed but a lot of things like half filmed or like things that need editing so basically I'm gonna be doing all of that jazz um, tonight <laughs> during my all-nighter and so they will come out over the next month or so. Essentially what I'm going to do, because I have essays coming up, I've got three essays to write, 3,500 words each one, so basically 11,000 odd words, and they're all due on the 26th of April. So I will show you the process of me writing those essays and I'll bring you along for some like daily vlogs and yeah, generally just like essay writing vlogs and the, like the exam period. But also it means because I'll be doing all of that jazz over April that I can't really be posting three times a week anymore. So what I'm gonna do is definitely definitely post once a week. I'm thinking Saturday because that was my original upload day from when I pretty much started this channel and then I will throw in some Wednesdays as and when and then as soon as April's over in May I'm going back twice a week and then we'll just see where the wind takes us from there and how much time I've got because I still have my dissertation stuff to do <laughs> um, but I'll definitely have more time. So that's pretty much what's going on with the channel, why I've been MIA, what I'm gonna be doing over the me next month so you guys have an idea of like what I'm doing whilst you see all the content that I'm gonna put out. Also, on that note, like I post on Instagram pretty much most days, if not every day. So if you wanna see what I'm up to, like any exercise that I'm doing, run times, like I put all my Strava screenshots on there. Basically Instagram is like the place where you're gonna see it first. I've also been doing a lot of Instagram lives during the time that I've been MIA on YouTube because I wanna make content. I just haven't had the time to like do the whole shebang. So Instagram live is like a great way just to like hop on and talk to you guys. So anyway, basically long plug for my Instagram so follow me at Chelsea Angeles underscore for just more me <laughs> and yeah everything is pretty much on there first and on that topic I announced on my Instagram well it wasn't really an announcement but it was in an Instagram live something about the army that I'm basically gonna tell you in this video and that is that obviously at the moment I'm in the army reserves and I am in training to become a CMT a combat medical technician so a medic basically frontline medic and I have decided, I mean, it's been a long time coming, literally a long time coming, but I've decided that I'm gonna actually join full-time. So once I finish my degree in end of September, I suppose, early October, I am gonna go and join the regulars, which I'm so excited about. Like, I just, I wish I did it sooner, but at the same time, I've had all my university stuff to do, and I'm glad that I've done that before joining the army, for sure. But at the same time, you just kind of wanna like get stuck in and like do it now, and like I can't. So it's kind of it's kind of like a weird limbo phase that I'm in, of like knowing exactly what I wanna do and training towards that, but also knowing that I won't be able to do that for a while. So yeah, that's where we're at. And basically, yeah, I'm gonna join the army full time. Like the reasons are essentially whilst I'm why I'm leaving the reserves to go and join the regular army is, well, it's more like a transfer, but you know what I mean? is because I joined the reserves originally because I've always wanted to join the army. Like it was just one of them things that uh, I've always wanted to do. And I felt like when I was at university, there was no way in hell that I would have ever been able to do the reserves because I was doing like, 10, 12 work placements a year, which is like one a month, plus a law degree, plus YouTube, plus like everything else that I was doing 
on top of that, like there was no way I would have fit it in, especially now that I've joined the reserves, it is quite demanding. Like I wouldn't say the contact time that you have, if you will, with the, you know, battalion or regiment or whatever you join is demanding because it's a couple hours a week. But for me, when I'm in the mindset of like, okay, I'm now actually enlisted into the British army, it means like I'm always wanting to do loads of fizz and I'm always wanting to just research into the army generally and get a greater understanding of like the regiment that I'm in or like, military history history and things like that and then there's the case of like ironing kids and polishing boots and it just it adds up if you let it I think if you really embrace being in the army and what it has to offer and getting into that headspace then you'll find yourself doing stuff like every day for it and then that can take up a lot of time so like not that that's a bad thing but that's just like an observation so it means that like I'm glad I joined the army reserves after my undergrad because there's no way that would have done it before that, although I kind of wish that I could have. And equally, the OTC, UOTC, like, I didn't even know about that until probably my final year of university, by which time, pandemic. So, like, I wish I kind of knew about that, I guess, as well. But the case of the reserves is, yeah, I've always wanted to do it, and I felt that in July of 2020, like once I had graduated, it was the right time to do it. And also I was fit enough to do it <laughs> because prior to that, I just wasn't that fit. Like I've always been one to go to the gym or like hike or like run and stuff like that. But I would say up until the pandemic started, I was very much the type of person that would get really into fitness for like three months, purely probably for like weight loss, reasons or like aesthetic reasons and then after about three months look in the mirror and be like yep I'm happy with what I'm seeing and then I just kind of wouldn't do any fitness anymore it would just kind of like patter off and then that'll be it for like six months and then the cycle continues and it was pretty much like that I would say since I was like 13 14 like I've always been like that and before that I did a lot of sports that was kind of a different story but Point is that I wasn't definitely not fit enough, nowhere near. I think, you know, before I had my little fitness kick in at the start of the pandemic, I don't even think I'd have been able to like run a mile at a good pace, really. Like that's how it was, it was bad. <laughs> so then when I got fit enough, it just felt like the right time. And equally, I always toyed with the idea of what about the army as a full-time career? And at the same time, the recurring thought that stopped me was, Mm, but once if you don't like it like it's a really big commitment to sign up for the army if you don't like it and you can't really get out of doing it you know and yes you can leave you know throughout basic training or at the end of basic training but equally that's like a big commitment to train for to go and do to take your time out to put everything else in your life on hold and then find out you hate it and it's it's one of them careers as well that it's interesting that you can't just go for a week of work experience and see what it's like like you either commit or you don't so I was like do you know what a nice halfway house is the reserves and that's why I joined the reserve this has been a very long answer to basically say that but since I joined the reserves I realized that actually I really love it and it's definitely something that I can see myself doing. I remember having a conversation with one of my friends in like October and I was basically saying like, oh, I just feel really like lost in my life. Like, I don't know what I want to do. I have this plan for what I think I want to do, but is that what I want to do? Like, what does my heart tell me? And he was like, well, what does your heart tell you? Like, what do you actually want to do? And I was like, do you know what? Like, if you could strip everything back and you just do what you want to do, like I'd join the army. So considering that was October, I think those thoughts, to be honest, have just like continued further this whole time and it's now just gotten to the point that I'm like yeah all the things that would have put me off or would have stopped me doing it I don't care anymore I'm just gonna do it and I don't have a clue about how the transfer process works if anybody knows let me know um I'm sort of investigating that now and I'm just looking forward to it really I'm actually really excited to just do it so having said that i'm going to end on what it means for the channel going forward so i'm still going to be making videos i'm planning to make videos for like indefinitely you know over at least the next five ten years like that's definitely what i want to do i love doing this i've done this for since I was 13 so it's been like seven years man like it's been ages I love doing it so I'm definitely gonna do it joining the army is not gonna stop that if anything I think it's gonna be super interesting to bring you guys along the journey I've gained a lot of new people since I've started joining the army and seeing all of you guys in my dms and stuff saying that you're also joining the army and like we're all going through the journey together basically I'm just gonna be filming way more content that's army focused I suppose because obviously the study stuff is still gonna happen, but I'm gonna stop studying in September. So then that's gonna stop and I'm gonna be going on to this new chapter. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the update video. Hopefully I can edit this down to be quite short because I'm looking at the record time and it 
it's not that short. Yeah, I just wanted to hop on and basically say like what I've been up to, what's gonna happen going forward because I've wanted to like to say this for the channel for a while because sometimes I feel like when you look at my channel because I'm a student, it's very studenty and in my mind I'm very like, well I'm gearing towards going in the army now so I just wanna start taking the channel down the route that matches how I'm feeling. So that's hopefully what's gonna happen post this video. I hope you like this video and leave a comment if you want me to film or talk about anything specific, whether it's to the army or literally anything to do with my life. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.